Now, I posted the video days ago because the headline wasn't about global government. It was just in a video I posted, and then Drudge Report picked it up Friday. But before that, I got dozens of emails or more saying I was a liar. Global governance doesn't mean government. Listen, dum-dums, and I'm not talking to my general listeners, but those that are in denial, governance means government in the dictionary. Okay? I assure you that we'll pull that up later and put it on screen. The definition of governance means government. But we'll show that to you from Merriam-Webster Dictionary Online. How's that sound for you? Because I'm not going to have denial. This, is, this radio show is about hardcore information warfare. They're seizing the economy, giving it to themselves, while putting poison in your water and the air. They're killing us. This isn't a joke. Get in the game. We have their internal textbook. Finally in the news this evening, it's being reported that cyber spies from Russia and China have now penetrated our power grid. Even as energy experts are reporting that each summer we get closer and closer to the limits of our nation's power grid, some say that this summer's demand for electrical power may finally push the grid over its edge, creating a cascade of power outages across the country, putting us all in the dark. Are you prepared for the next round of storm-related outages or government-created blackouts? Have you ever thought about taking steps to get off the grid and generate your own private supply of electrical power? If so, this will be the most important information you have ever heard. Solar power generators are finally available. They have no moving parts to wear out or break and require absolutely no gas whatsoever. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun. So go to MySolarBackup.com. That's MySolarBackup.com. Check out MySolarBackup.com before you lose your power. It is July 12th on the Sunday edition, Sunday, July 12th, 2009. Now, I haven't even begun to get into the textbook itself and his actual quotes. How to poison the water, how to poison the food, how to do it through vaccines. And this textbook, Population, Resources, Environment, again, this is a above Ph.D. level. This is a guy that headed up large sectors of MIT, headed up the technology and uh, biology and science areas of Harvard, and now heads up Obama's operation. But it doesn't matter. You go research all these science advisors. You go research all the heads. The point is, this isn't just one guy who's out here doing government textbooks along these lines. This is the accepted knowledge. This is the on-the-record information. Now, some stations don't carry this first five minutes. That's why we have a one-minute break at five after. But we're going to go ahead and start taking your calls right now. I'll continue with calls in the next segment. Then I want to, later in the hour, go through this document and then go through some points that I wrote up today that I separately want to make on air about how we should counter this, how we should resist this, and also understanding the mindset of these people, why they're doing this, and explaining to all the environmentalists out there that the Rockefellers over 100 years ago created the environmental movement to demonize mankind to sell eugenics. And they funded Hitler, Planned Parenthood, sterilization, everything that we know of as our society today. IBM, the human genome, Dick Cheney saying kill certain races with race-specific bioweapons. That was even in the Austin American Statesman. This is all being done for a reason, and I'm going to break down the master plan. It has nothing to do with saving the earth, and they admit that. But the reason this is so big is to have an internal government textbook, an internal government policy book calling for a global policy that we now see implemented, and we see him as Obama's science advisor. This just connected so many other dots that, and it affirms that our analysis of how the New World Order is operating, what their master plan is, is correct, and that it was worse than we even thought. And I know it's scary and hard to get folks to wake up to this fact and realize how serious it is. I mean, it, it, it really is amazing. Let's talk to Will in Texas. Will, you're the first caller, then George, Sherry, Ray, Scott, and others. Go ahead, Will. University of Texas, and it seems like they're constantly trying to uh, redefine race and, and uh, you know, update ethnicity and, and uh, keep describing or, for me, uh, subscribing identity. And I see a correlation with that. And uh, Nazi Germany and IBM and the uh, information technology movement and everything. 
Yeah, that's because they've got to get you in fighting in the name of multiculturalism so they can play humanity off against each other so humanity never gets together and realizes the overlords, the social engineers, the social architects are the real enemy. And uh, so in the name of multiculturalism, they create the divisions. But absolutely, IBM is a complete money trust to carry out eugenics. The Hollerith machine was invented for race mixing studies in the United States. That was then the machine with the tattoos on the people in the death camps to decide how much to feed them, how much to work them to death. Our entire society is run and engineered to carry out eugenics. My question is, um, Julian Huxley, did he come up with the term ethnic group? You know, I don't know who came up with the term ethnic group, but I know uh, anthropologists and sociologists did. But I know that uh, Obama's science advisor, John P. Holdren, is part of the same society that Julian Huxley and Bertrand Russell were part of, and that's coming up later in the show. Anything else? All right, thank you. Yeah, his, his phone was really bad, or I'm getting some bad audio here, so we need to... Get that straight before we come back to the full audience here. All right, more calls straight ahead. Your questions on eugenics, eugenics only. Because what else is there? I mean, they're killing us. This is pretty important info. Do you understand how dark it is? How far down the line we are? How late it is? I'm going to continue with your phone calls until the bottom of the hour. Then I'm going to suspend calls for the balance of the transmission, the last 30 minutes. And I want to not just go over the fact that there's a planetary world government that is setting up a global carbon tax to destroy all industry so that populations are unsustainable. But the mindset of these people and why they're doing it, they are not doing it to even help the planet. And they're on record bragging about this. But their low-level minions that follow this Geyer religion, they are doing it for the planet. And so we need to stop being children here and stop denying this is going on. I have posted scores of textbooks, government documents, United Nations Biological Diversity Assessment 96, 89, State Department Memorandum 200, the books written by His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Charles' father, Queen of England's husband, and there's thousands of these. It's, I've made a film about it. A two-hour, 40-minute film called Endgame Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Stop denying this if you're driving along in your car listening in Los Angeles or Chicago or Austin, Texas or Miami or Buffalo, New York. Stop living in denial. If what I'm saying is true, isn't this the only issue? Isn't this... The most important issue, this is why they're setting up world government, why they're bankrupting the world economy. And they brag and say they are. They say that's why they have CPS, is to take your kids and sterilize them. That's what CPS was set up for almost 90 years ago in this country. Hitler got all his ideas from these people. The head of science for Obama, the head of his science office, openly writes a book called Eco Science, calling for forced sterilization, forced abortion, a worldwide police state, and poisons in the water to sterilize you. And now most people are sterile or near sterile. And we've named specifically what they're doing and how they're doing it. The UN's been caught adding hormones to tetanus shots that sterilize women. Mainstream news! They're doing it! I said I'd take calls. Let's go to calls. Let's talk to George in Texas. George, you're on the air. How are you doing, Alex? Can you hear me? Uh, good, uh, sir. Yes, you're on the air. Can you hear me? Yes, I can, Alex. Uh, you know, when I lived in Florida, I remember I worked for a nursing home for a year. And, I, you know, I couldn't understand why they were pulling feeding tubes out of young people who uh, had strokes and stuff. And like you said, um, they were asked for water and we were told nothing by mouth. And it was all done in the uh, cons consulting of a bioethicist. Bioethicist, transhumanist, uh the Eugenics Quarterly openly wrote, we're changing our name, and they changed their names to this, and now they govern and rule things. They're outside government. They're the new priest class, and even the Wall Street Journal's written, last time I checked, it was like a 20-part series by Wesley Smith, where the people are begging for food and water and are murdered by the government. They're not killing vegetables. They're murdering people all coast to coast who can talk. 
and and, and, and naming them. And and they call. I mean, I, I know it's it's hardcore, but we're not just talking about them. They are killing the general public with soft kill weapons. Go ahead. Well, um, even too, I had an encounter uh, with uh, George Philos, Michael Scheibel's lawyer, and I tell you one: you want to see a eugenicist? That guy is sick. Who? He's the one who's George Philos, Michael Scheibel's uh, attorney, who uh, had his yeah. wife starved to death. This well, they used her. Sure, I know who he is now, and I appreciate your call, Jordan. They used her because it looked like she was brain dead, but then it turned out she wasn't. To kind of refute, don't brush her teeth, don't give her water by mouth. Took her 15 days to die. Poor Terry had her family on many times, and uh, it's just nightmarish.